with observations and thoughts and ideas about what do we do with these patients. I often tell the story about when you were doing a post RF, it would help pain, but it didn't address the instability. And I always, yeah. I always thank and bless you that you took upon somehow figuring out how to stop <laughs> and how to improve that joint laxity. And as you know, I refer, refer hundreds. And yeah. I, thank you. And I always, yeah, no, thank you. I always tell patients that the two best therapies that I know of that exist today in a safe, gentle, and really efficacious way is structural alignment and then subsequent follow-up with your interventions. I will leave you with this. I have had patients, I know you see this all the time and maybe you don't get the accolades for it, but I can't tell you how many patients we have that were disabled, couldn't work, that between our work and your work have been able to return to work, return to activity, live a functional life, and there's nothing better than helping a sick and suffering. So Chris, thank you for all the work you do. Well, thank you. Thank you as well, Scott. Uh, guys, thanks so much for joining us and, and have a great week uh, to everybody. Okay. Thank you.